स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑन पोलिनोम आई हैव डन एक्सरसाइज टू ई एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू टू एफ एक्सरसाइज टू एफ इज बेस्ड ऑन वन आइडेंटिटी इट इज एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड होल स्क्वेयर इक्वेल्स टू एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस वाई स्क्वेयर प्लस जेड स्क्वेयर प्लस टू आइस एक्स वाई प्लस टू आइस वाई जेड प्लस टू आइस जेड एक्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस फॉर्मूला वी हैव टू डू सम्स ऑफ टू एफ एंड इन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इट इज गिवेन एक्स पॉइंट x plus 2y plus 5z whole square. In this sum, it is x plus 2y plus 5z whole square. So we can consider this is x part, this is y part, and this is z part. So if I use this identity, then it will be x square plus y square plus z square plus 2y xy plus 2y yz plus 2y zx. Here, this is x part. This is y part and this is z part. So x square plus y square, y will be two y whole square plus five z is the z part. So it will be five z whole square. Then two y is x y, two y is y z, two y is z x. So now it will be x square plus two square, two two is four y square plus five square, five five is twenty five z square plus two two is four x y. Plus five to the ten, ten to the twenty, y z. Plus five to the ten, z x. It cannot be further simplified. So this is the required answer. Let me show another sum from number one. In question number two, it is given that expand x minus two y minus three z whole square. This can be written as x. Plus minus two y plus minus three z whole square. So it will be x. This part will be y. This part will be z. Now, if we apply the formula x plus y plus z whole square, then it will be x square plus y square. Y is minus two y here. So it will be x square plus y square plus z square. Plus two is x y two is x y is minus two y plus two is y z. This is y part. This is z part. So it will be two is minus two y into minus three z plus two is z into x two is z is minus three z into x. Here it is x square plus y square plus z square. Plus two i's x y, plus two i's y z, plus two i's z x. So we got x square plus two two is four y square, plus three three is nine z square, plus minus minus two two is four x y, minus minus plus. So it will be plus three two is six, six two is twelve y z, plus minus minus. Three to the six z x. Now this cannot be further simplified, so this is the required answer. In fourth part of question number one, it is given half a minus one fourth of b plus two whole square. Here we can consider a by two as x plus b by four. Here it will be minus this part is y plus two whole square. So here it is x, here it is y, here it is z. So using the formula x plus y plus z whole square, we will get x square plus y square plus z square. Here z is two. So x square plus y square plus z square plus twice x into y. Plus two i's y into z y. This is the y part. This is the z part. So two i's y into z plus two i's z into x. So two i's two into a by two. Now this two and this two I can cancel. This two and this two also can be cancelled. So it will be a square by two two is four plus minus minus plus b square. 
by 4 square 16 plus 2 square will be 4 plus minus minus AB by 4 plus minus minus 2 to the 4 B by 4 plus twice A. This 4 and this 4 now I can cancel. So we are left with A square by 4 plus B square by 16 plus 4 minus AB by 4 minus B plus twice A. This is the required answer. Now we have to factorize 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy minus 2yz plus 4xz. This expression is of the format of x square plus y square plus z square plus twice xy plus twice yz plus twice zx. But only problem is that here two negative signs are there. Now just check here xy both are present here yz both are present but in both the cases y is present that means y term must be negative wherever y is present those terms are negative indicates that y must be negative so this expression can be written as 2x whole square plus minus y whole square plus z square so we got x square plus y square plus z square plus 2i's a into b plus 2i's y into z plus 2i's z into x. So we got x square plus y square plus z square plus 2i's xy plus 2i's yz plus 2i's zx. Now just check whether this line and this line is same or not. 2 to the 4x square plus minus minus plus y square plus z square plus minus minus 2 to the 4xy plus minus minus 2y's yz plus 2 to the 4zx. So it is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2y's xy plus 2y's yz plus 2y's zx. So we can use that formula x plus y plus z whole square so it will be 2ice x plus minus minus y plus z whole square which is the required answer i hope this sum is clear let me show another sum from number two here question is second part of question number two here it is given 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root over 2xy plus 4 root over 2yz minus 8xz. Now this 2x square can be written as root over 2x whole square because root over 2 square is 2, 2x square plus y square plus now instead of 8 if I write 2 root over 2z whole square then 2 to the 4 and root 2 square is 2 so 4 to the 8 z square so we got x square plus y square plus z square but here one problem is that here it is negative in the last term also negative that means wherever x is present those terms are negative that means this x term must be negative so you write minus root over 2 x square plus y square plus 2 root 2 z whole square just because wherever x is present, those terms are negative. That means x term must be negative. So we got x square, y square, z square. Just write plus 2i's x into y plus 2i's y into z, y into z plus 2i's z. Z here is 2 root 2 z into x minus root 2 x now check whether this line and this line is matching or not minus minus plus root 2 square is 2 x square plus y square plus 2 square is 4 root 2 square is 2 4 to the 8 z square plus minus minus 2 root 2 x y plus 2 to the 4 4 root 2 y z plus minus minus 
2 2 ja 4 and root 2 into root 2 2 4 2 ja 8 x z so this line and this line is matching and here if we apply x square plus y square plus z square plus twice x y plus twice y z plus twice z x it will be x plus y plus z whole square which is the required answer in question number three first part it is given evaluate 99 square so directly 99 into 99 we cannot do we have to use some identity here instead of 99 we can write 100 minus 1 whole square so it will be a minus b whole square and we know a minus b whole square is a square minus twice a into b plus b square so here it is a this is b so a square minus twice a into b plus b square 100 square it will be 1 2 3 4 it will be 10,000 minus 2 into 100 200 plus 1 so 10,000 plus 1 will give 1 0 0 0 1 minus 200 and if you subtract you are going to get 9 8 0 1 so 99 square is 9 8 0 1 which is the required answer I hope the remaining sums that few sums are left these sums you can try it yourself and that's all for today in the next video i'm going to start 2g from polynomial chapter till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part